Let's solve this equation, it is an equation, for n, and let's just go through the steps as we solve. There are no fractions, there are parentheses, so I will take a moment and use the distributive property and remove parentheses. 4 times n is 4n, minus 4 times 5 is 20, is equal to, now if you'd like, you can think of that as negative 1. Negative 1 times 4, that's negative 4, and then negative 1 times negative 2n, that's uh, positive 2n, I'll write plus 2n. These are unlike terms, these are unlike terms. Let's go ahead and use our addition property, and let's write variable terms on one side, constants on the other side. I'll begin by subtracting 2n from both sides. So I'm simply going to rewrite my left side, and I'll subtract 2n. I'll rewrite my right side, and I'll subtract 2n. And then what happens? On the left side, 4n minus 2n, that is 2n minus 20, is equal to the 2n subtract out, and I have negative 4. Now notice I have a variable term, constant, constant. I will now add 20 to both sides. Here's my left side. I'll add 20, and then don't forget, here's my right side. I'll add 20. On the left side, I have simply 2n then. On the right side, negative 4 plus 20, that is 16. How do I finish solving? I now divide both sides by the coefficient of n. So the left side by the coefficient of n, which is 2, and the right side by the coefficient of n, which is 2. On the left side, notice the 2's divide out, and I'll have n is equal to 8. My solution is 8. Now you check by replacing n with 8 here and here and seeing that a true statement results.